Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Felita and this is Budgeting with the Mealings. On this channel, we're focused on paying out debt, saving for the future, and building generational wealth. We primarily accomplish those goals through using the cash envelope method along with participating in savings challenges. In today's video, I will be going over our first paycheck for August, which is August the 12th budget. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, please keep watching. Okay, so before we get into the budget, I do want to highlight our BCL Spotlight channels. We are week two, round two, and those budgeters are Nika Budgets, Budget with Mimi, Hiker on a Budget, and Sweet Kiki One. So please go out, check out those young ladies, uh, pick a playlist, watch, comment, subscribe, do all of those things. Show your support for those ladies the same way you want those ladies to show support to you. So now let's get into this budget. So I'll start with my family's budget. Um, let me find something real quick, just as a little pointer, and I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. Um, so, uh, for those of you that don't know, my husband and I do budget separately. However, we do have, um, a portion of our income that goes into what we consider our family budget, and that combined income is $21.38. We had a rollover last month of $744.00. So that made our total income $2,882. These items here um, are items that either come out with bill pay or ACH or you know something of that nature. So I don't actually take any cash money out of the bank for these. And that is my mortgage, our power bill, our life insurance. And our life insurance comes out at different times of the month. So that of course was, um, I just have a certain amount that comes out each pay period to cover those various days. And then of course we have Spectrum which is our cable and we are about to get rid of that. I cannot wait. I am just like ugh, so fed up with Spectrum. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and then we have Spire which is our gas and then ADT which is our home security. So everything totaled comes to $13.95, so that will leave us with a balance of $14.87. Now these items here um, are items that I actually budget for um, through cash, or using my cash envelope system. And that will be grocery, which will be getting $150, household will be getting $40, ortho will be getting $83. My youngest daughter, Peyton, she got braces, uh, I think it was in October of last year. So we are about halfway done with that. So can't wait for that to be over so I can allocate those funds to something else. Tuition is getting 50. Um, my middle daughter, Morgan, she graduated high school last year, um, or in May actually of this year. Um, so we are helping her with her college expenses and it is more to come on that. But anyway, tuition is getting 50, tags is getting 34, that is our registration for all of our vehicles. Um, and then HOA is getting 15. We pay our HOA yearly, and I think it's about $350 a year. I do know that some of you ladies that I watch pay it um, monthly, and I'm just like, ooh, glad I don't live there. Um, Gracie is getting 10, and Gracie is our dog. She is a little Maltese, a little feisty, Spitfire. Um, emergency is getting 25. Wayne's is getting 32. Uh, gas for my mom is getting 20. I've just started allocating about 20 or $25 per pay period because she does help me out with my children, taking them um, to different activities, uh, doctor's appointments, and things of that nature. And now that school will be starting next week, um, probably by the time you see this video, it will have started. Um, she will be helping me out with that as well. So I may have to up that amount. Not real sure yet. And then car maintenance is getting 40. Now what I have over here to the side is Morgan's furniture bill for $22. So my middle daughter Morgan, we did not budget for furniture for her because initially she was going off to school. So she didn't, and was going to live in a dorm. So we didn't budget for furniture. Um, but since 
I don't know when, she decided, I, well, I guess I can say in June, because in June, um, she moved into an apartment with my oldest daughter, and they needed furniture. So, they split the cost of the furniture 50-50. So, I am allocating $22, which will cover Morgan's half of the furniture payment. I hope that makes sense, and I didn't rumble on too much. So, anyway, that is $22. Didn't have anywhere over here to put it. So, that comes to a total of $521. Um, so that will leave us with $966. So for um, sinking funds, we have Christmas, which will get $120, and vacation will get $100. So that's a total of $220, which will leave us a balance of $746. We don't really do any type of traditional savings for the family account, although we do contribute money into an account that is um, for the family and it's for savings, but it's not, we don't say, oh, well, we're going to put $100 in or $50 in or whatever. We just contribute as we see fit. So we don't, I don't allocate anything here, so you won't ever see anything here for savings. Um, so that again will leave $746 and the same for debt. I guess technically I could put Morgan's furniture bill here, but since I take out money for that, um, which I may change that, um, how I pay it. But anyway, I could put it here in debt. I still haven't decided. This is really kind of new to us. So I'm still kind of figuring out how or where I want to put it into the budget, but I do know it's in the budget. Um, so anyway, we're still at $746. So when we do our recap, our income is $28.82. Our bills, $13.95. Our cash envelopes, $521. Our sinking funds is $220. No savings, no debt. And that leaves us a remainder of $746. So, this is pretty much my cash breakdown. Typically, I have not gone to the bank by the time I do my budget with me. So, this portion down here is, is not normally filled in. And you probably can't see it because I do it in pencil. And the reason I do it in pencil is because I typically do my budget like a week before I get paid. So, if there's anything that comes up that um, I forgot about or that just comes up, um, I still have the capability of adding it to my cash breakdown so that when I go into the bank or when I do the, my allocations, I have somewhere to put it. But with my cash breakdown, I list all of my expenses here and then I typically take the highest denomination over here and I just have a smaller um, one of these cash breakdowns that I take into the bank. Um, the only exception to this is for grocery, and of course, I've said this before, grocery, I typically do um, 520s and 150 only because if I have to go in, I can just take a 20 in if I'm just getting, you know, a gallon of milk. But anyway, that is our cash breakdown for the family budget. Now, let's move on to personal. So, as I stated before, my husband and I budget separately, so these are expenses that I typically cover um, my, or out of my um, earnings that is separate from the family. So, um, salary is $700. Um, and, and let me just explain for those that are new. Salary that is listed here is after I've already taken out money for the family account. Um, also, all of these expenses here, tides, my car payment, uh, gas, car insurance, my cell phone bill, and my daughter's um, allowance all comes out either ACH or bill pay or something of that nature, well, except for my gas. I do, but I use my debit card for that, so I don't take any money out, but I've already allocated for these funds prior to this amount. So, um, anyway, since I've gone over that. Um, I'll, as I stated here, ACH, so there's nothing here. Um, so, let's see. Then we do our cash envelopes, or my cash envelopes, and those envelopes are self-care, which will get 10, spending will also get 10, and my son's allowance will get 14. He is um, seven, so he receives $7 a week, which is where that $14 comes from. So cash envelopes will be $34, and the amount that I have left over is $1,266. So what, are, what am I doing with that $1,266, you may ask? Um, 
I actually put $25 into back to school and I put $25 into sports. So um, really sports is kind of what I use for my son's baseball, but he actually has started football. We, had, we haven't had any expenses just yet with football. My husband typically covers all of his equipment costs and his registration, so I don't have that here. But anyway, back to school and sports is getting 25. Cheer, which is my daughter Peyton, she's in, on a competitive cheer team, and the cost of that is $475 a month. So I just break it down since I'm a bi-weekly budgeter to um, $238 per pay period. I do know that I need to start budgeting for some other things um, that are related to cheer, such as, um, you know, her away competitions. We have one that's in Dallas, so we'll have to, you know, get a flight. Uh, so that'll be plane tickets, we'll have room, we'll have food. Um, there are a couple of um, local competitions, but we'll have to drive there that may be, I don't know, maybe an hour, 45 minutes away from the home. So that'll still be gas and it'll be food. So I need to start budgeting for some of those things. So you will probably see that shortly um, or coming up actually very soon. I act probably should have already started budgeting for that, but I had not. Um, so next up is business. I do have a candle company, Seasons Candle Co. I will pop that up somewhere for you to see. Um, so I allocate, typically what I do is allocate $10 for um, the business, just for anything that I may need to purchase. Um, and just recently, I have started allocating for the website itself. So that's why business is getting $25. Date night will be getting 10, gifts will be getting 8, debt will be getting 25, and I have not allocated anything for my challenges. And the reason that I have not allocated anything for challenges is because I have my son sometimes pick our numbers. Well, well, actually, we're transitioning to some new savings challenges. But what I have done in the past is have my son like pick the numbers for us. Um, we do a family challenge, so my family, they actually give me money for their portion of the challenges. So it's kind of hard to go to the bank and get the money because I don't ever know if they're going to cash out me the money or if they're going to give me actual cash money. So that's why I don't put anything here. Once I receive whatever funds that they're going to give me and know what our numbers are, like what we've picked and all that kind of stuff, then I go, I make a second trip to the bank and um, take out whatever's needed. So you won't see anything there. So all of these items add um, total up to be $356, which will leave me a balance of $910. So for savings, for savings, I don't do any, well, I do my savings challenges, but um, I contribute to my 401k and my Roth IRA, but that also comes out through ACH and it is also prior to this amount. So this month for debt, I do want to pay an additional $200 towards my car. And while I am thinking about it, I, I know I haven't done a check-in and I, I apologize for the way this looks. Um, I made a payment, actually it was earlier this month, um, August the 1st of $1,000 towards my car because this is the debt that I am working on right now and I, I haven't done like an end of month closeout or I haven't done a um, you know, monthly check-in type video in a while because we've just had so much going on. Although I have still been tabulating and keeping up with those things, I just haven't recorded it and showed it for you guys. But anyway, car, I do wanna pay an additional $200 towards my car. Um, and I am trying to budget in at least $100 from my daughter Morgan. Um, as I stated before, she um, this will be her first year um, of college, and I, my husband and I are trying to help her out with her college expenses. Um, so there are times, because she does not work as much, um, that she may need, I don't know, gas, or, you know, just recently she called and said, hey, I, you know, I want to get my hair done, and, you know, I need money for that. So I will let her use a credit card that I have given her and then at the end of the month um, 
I pay that bill. So sometimes, you know, she'll she'll need money and sometimes she won't, but I do try to allocate um, money for that. So that's a total of $300 and that will leave me uh, $610. So as I recap, uh, income is, oh, I didn't even write that over there, y'all. Uh, it's $1,300. Um, all of my bills comes out ACH, so there's nothing there, and it's prior to this amount. Cash envelopes are $34. Sinking funds are $356. Um, savings is actually done through ACH. Debt right now, I don't know why I have $310. Hmm, that's not right. That should be $300. Um, so that will leave me um, $610. As with my... Um, family's cash breakdown I do the exact same thing I just list all of my expenses here and then I take the highest denomination and that is what I take to the bank for uh, the tellers so that is it for our budget um, I do want to thank everyone for their support that you've given me and to my channel um, I do really appreciate it. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos lately and I'm trying to get caught up and I noticed that a lot of uh, budgets typically don't stay the same. And what I mean by don't stay the same is, you know, there are expenses that are added, you know, just different expenses. You know, you, you add in things, you take out things, maybe you get done paying, you know, a, a debt or whatever. Or like me, you know, we've had to add in my daughter's furniture bill. So, and I think the biggest one for everybody is just inflation. You know, you go to the grocery store, you used to could spend $200, now it's $300. You go to the gas pump, you would put in $40 and now it's $80. So I know that um, our budgets are changing. And I guess my question to you guys is, has your budget changed? And if so, how? Um, and how are you dealing with the budget changes? So I know, you know, some of us, you know, although our expenses are rising, our pay may not be keeping up with the steady increase that our budgets are so i'm just interested to know you know is your budget changing how is it changing and how are you handling that change and as always thank you guys so so much for watching i really do appreciate it um, if you are new to my channel please let me know in the comment section below so that i can sub you back and follow you along on your journey and please don't forget to check out our bcl spotlight channels um for this week, week two, round two, which is Nakia Budgets, uh, Budget with Mimi, Hiker on a Budget, and Sweet Kiki One. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.